starting right here. Caliper guard off. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna flip to the to the left side. Now we've removed the front fender, but now we're gonna take the back cover. Can you point out the lower and upper? Here's the lower. Okay, and that must be the upper. And the anti-dive. And the anti-dive, as you see, noticeably is on the left side. Okay. You want to point them out? Upper. There's your upper. And there's your lower. All right, so we're gonna do the front reservoir first and we're gonna remove that with two Phillips heads. The, uh, it's got a float in it. It's kind of like a white piece of flat plastic that just floats and you're supposed to see it. All right, he's gonna open it up. Be very careful, we don't want any contaminants, right? Cover up anything. Cover up. All right, so he's looking at that. How's that look, by the way? Yellow. Looks kind of yellow, all right. It should be white. Clear. This right here is what it looks like, which is golden colored, but it should be a little clearer than that, right? It should just be clear, but this has got some age on it. Correct. Yeah. So, all right, let's go ahead and suck as much out. And the theory is, as much as you get out here, it's the least amount of... Uh, it's not get sucked into the system. Right. We're getting as much trash out as humanly possible. Look at that, that's crazy. Top off the front master cylinder. And you see the line for the lower right there? And then the line for the up and the back. Yeah, only use a brake fluid that is brand new. That just goes for anything cars as well because it pulls in condensation and, con and uh, contaminants with no problem. Okay, so that's our master cylinder. It's been capped off. Now you can see the difference in the color. See the difference? Place everything. See how it goes down in there and you see the white? In the viewing glass. In the viewing glass there. So that's how that works. So guys, if you're not seeing it, then you don't have low fluid. But if you see that white line, that's how you know. Right. How bad is uh, brake fluid on paint? Best paint remover you ever had. It's the best paint remover. If you, wouldn't, if you need to strip your paint job, just go ahead and leave the cap off and get it all over the place. Right. No problem. Move the handlebar to get this level. Okay, so we have now, uh, we've got a bleeding hose on top of the upper right side brake caliber breeding. 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 The breeding screw. <laughs> that sounds like uh, maybe need a little different rating on this. Yeah, that's right. A uh, bleeding screw for the right caliber. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press, I'm gonna get a little bit of pressure on the on the handle here, I'm holding it down. And go ahead, Bob. Go ahead and let her out. What we're looking for... Okay, go ahead. Stop. No more pressure. Okay. okay, so step two would be the lower left side bleeder screw. Okay, and noticeably, the lower bleeder screws have 10 millimeters, correct? And the upper ones have eight millimeter bleeder screws. So just FYI. All right, we're gonna just kind of do this boring process of I'm gonna pressurize the handle. He's gonna let it out. We're gonna do this about how many times would you say it took us last? Clear about 15 times. At least 15, 20 times it took us. So we're gonna repeat this process for the second bleeder valve right here, and this of course is for the front upper master cylinder. So we're gonna do that, and we'll just go to the next one. Okay guys, as you see, we're getting a little low on uh, fluid here. 
This is about, I went ahead and went down till we got to clear just to give you an idea of what it's taken. This is just a rough idea. Usually I keep a little bit in here, but I wanted to show you exactly what it was taking to run from dirty to clean in one bleeder screw. So it's just about an entire, I'd say three quarters of the uh, reservoir there and you'll get down to clean. Correct, Popsy? Correct. All right. An upper and a lower. So it was upper right, lower left. Looks like it took two. Looks like it basically went through two reservoirs of fluid to clear out those two channels. Now, what's hot is we're also gonna have to we're gonna have to bleed more on the front to do the rear. So we've done now the master front cylinder. And now we're going to do the rear master cylinder. And we're going to do it all in this one video. Then I'm going to post it three different ways. One with both, one front, and one rear. Yeah, make some all right, any other procedure for this? Check the brake, make sure it works. Check the brake. All right, cool, man. Boy, if you, if you really just look at that cleanly. Right there, that looks so clean in there, man. It looks yellow. Right, that actually looks yellow. I mean, look yellow. How's it feel? Nice and tight. Okay. Okay, guys, so obviously we're going to take our access port off on the right side, which exposes the master cylinder for the rear brake pedal which also controls the dive and a couple pistons in the front as well as the rear brake, correct? Correct. All right, so this is strictly for the rear. All right, so we've got her on the center stand, pull it off the uh, cap and we're gonna suck her dry, right? Correct. We're gonna get as much contaminated crapola out of there as we can. And this is of course for the rear master cylinder and the 1800 gold lead. Up until 2018, which is a little different. How bad we got? How ugly is it? It's ugly. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice and orange. Looks like maple syrup. Right, Popsy? So we got to go from maple syrup to clean. So we're going to suck this out with his turkey plunger, which he calls uh, some kind of medical device for a syringe for human or working on humans <laughs> all right by the way popsy's been doing these gold wings for since i was a a minnow there you go let's take a look Hold on, man. Ugh. Yeah, okay. I'm following you. Let's take a look at any kind of sediment in there. Can we clean any of that out or? Yeah, I just see some crap on the bottom. That's okay, you just got a rag right there. I got another rag if we need it. All right, we really don't want that sediment getting anywhere near them pistons. So the other day, what caused this is this bike hasn't been run in a while and uh, went to hit the rear brake and there was nothing. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. Finally, I pumped it a little while and it came back up, but... After it sits? No. After it sits? Did you check it today, by the yes. way? Okay. Right down. <laughs> like no resistance? No breaky. No breaky. Can't be doing that. Once again, the rear uh, the rear cylinder also uses dot four. Of course, they both use dot four. God, you can see how different that looks already. 
All right, guys, we're going to jump into the process of this. We'll walk you through it one step at a time. Once we got the fluid inside the master cylinder, I'm going to start the bleeding process. Bring right here. Caliper guard off. Okay. Okay, now we're going to flip to the to the left side. Now we've removed the front fender, but now we're going to take the back cover. Can you point out the lower and upper? Lower. Okay, and that must be the upper. And the anti-dive. And the anti-dive, as you see, noticeably is on the left side. Okay. You want to point them out? Upper. There's your upper. And... guys as you see we are on the left upper now this is the first bleed screw for the process to bleed the actually we're flushing the fluid out of the rear master cylinder so it would be the upper left bleeder screw in the front that goes first and I'm going to I'm going to press the rear brake I'm holding it right now It is down. All right, so the next device we're gonna to come to is the anti-dive plunger valve. And this is the bleeder on top of it. And what size is that, Bobsy? Eight millimeter. That's an eight millimeter. I'm not gonna bore you guys to death, so we're gonna use the back brake, pressure up, and we're gonna keep bleeding until we get clean. All right? Yep. So this is the number three bleed screw that we're going to clean out right here. Right, one, two, now this is the third one. Okay, so the fourth and the fifth bleed screws, it doesn't say to do one or the other in front of the other one. So we're just gonna do the top, since we're thinking gravity is in our favor. But, um, so we're gonna do the top one, which is, in fact, a 10 millimeter, and then the bottom one you see right dead center is the eight millimeter. And we're just gonna do it till we get some clean fluid out of it, and... That should be it, right? Popsy, we should have number four, then number five. And they also recommend that you let it sit overnight. So there's that. All right, guys, let's get on it and let me get busy getting this done. I'm gonna get the camera out of the way because I don't want it to get soaked in brake fluid. You know, it gets kind of messy under here. But it does take, what would you say, Popsy? At least 15 to 20 tries per, yeah. Look, this is how much damn fluid we've used. This, and we still have two left to go. So, when they say it, re, they were, you know, 16 ounces, they mean 16 ounces. So go ahead and play on 16 ounces, and that's for the front master cylinder and the rear master cylinder, and the anti dive. So that's that's everything. All right, man, we're gonna wrap this up, guys. If you got any questions? Please let us know. Um, feel free to subscribe. I'm not the Goldwing expert, Popsy is, but if you need a question, you can ask me and I'll ask him because he refuses to even have a smartphone. But he's a very smart guy. So we can ask him via through me, through my smartphone, and we'll get to the smart guy. All right, see you later.